Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys some really useful iPhone gestures that most people actually don't know. These will make your life easier and you will probably use most of them on a daily basis on your iPhone. Now another really useful gesture is a single tap on the like button of this video. That of course will help me out a lot and will help this video do much much better. So make sure you leave the like on the video. All right, we're starting with a lock screen. This probably has happened to most of us, if not all of us. Have you ever turned on the flashlight on your lock screen by accident? So taking your phone out of a pocket or out of a perch or something like that, you will accidentally a lot of times turn on the flashlight. And of course you will have to turn it off, but you don't have to actually search for the button and 3D touch on the button right there to turn it off. All you have to do is a simple gesture here. So just swipe like that from the right to the left. Just a slight swipe like that will turn off quickly the flashlight. iPhones have a pretty cool feature that lets you go quickly to the top of a page when you tap at the status bar right there. So most devices nowadays are devices with a notch. And probably what you have done all this time is when you want to go to top, you just tap right there in the corner, the left or the right corner. But did you know that it will also work if you tap in the middle on the notch right there? So you tap right there and it goes to the top. You don't have to actually like search for the corners right there to tap to go to the top. Just tap right there at the notch and you're good to go. When you're on the lock screen and you want to unlock a device, so maybe it's someone else's devices that you have, maybe your friend or you're something, someone close to you and you know the passcode, or even if it's your device and you swipe up, you want to enter the passcode, you can see it will stay saying face ID there for like four or five seconds. But you can quickly go to the passcode simply by tapping where it says face ID. Just tap there and it takes you quickly to the passcode screen without you having to wait for it to show automatically. Whenever you're changing the media volume of your device, of course you press the volume up or volume down button. And you will have to press it for quite a few times in order to turn up or down all the way the volume of your device. Or you will have to tap and hold for a couple of seconds for it to change. But what you can do is just press once and then just slide your finger like this and you can see it will show the volume slider and you can quickly turn the volume all the way up or all the way down or adjust it at any like percentage that you want simply by swiping up or down your finger on the screen of your device. There are a few new gestures on Safari as well. And this of course with a new Safari on iOS 15. Now, first of all, if you want to create a new tab, all you have to do is from the last tab on your Safari app, just swipe like this. You can see you can go ahead and create now a new tab as easy as that. And when you're right here, what you can do is just swipe down when you're on the tabs view, you can just swipe down like this and you will get a search bar right there. And here you can search your tabs, not search the internet, but search the tabs, of course, based on the titles and the names of the website that you're visiting. And what you can also do is quickly go to the tabs view simply by swiping up from the address bar like this, and you will go to your tabs view. And now we have a grid view here with iOS 15, and this makes it very easy for you to close your tabs. Just swipe like this from the right to the left, and you can go ahead and quickly close any of your tabs. On the app library of your iPhone on iOS 14 or iOS 15, you can quickly move on the list of apps that you get when you go to search for apps, simply by swiping right here, swipe up or down on the letters and you can see you can quickly move between the apps that you have on your device. And that is actually really, really useful and very cool as well. You can also tap on the letters right there to go to the apps that start with that letter. Simply tap on any letter you want, it will go right to those apps. And you can see right here, I can swipe up like this. So from the app library, I can swipe up. It goes back to the app library, swipe up once again to go to the home screen. So that will take quite a few swipes right there to go back to the home screen. 
but what you can do is from the search here just swipe like this and it goes directly to the home screen of your device and this right here is kind of like a forgotten feature of ios apple has actually talked about this feature and it's quite useful but i think not a lot of people use it so whenever you're sliding like on a list like this you can see the sidebar right there will appear what you can do is tap on it and you can see it becomes a bit thicker and now you can go ahead and just quickly move up and down on any page this may be like a note like i'm using right here or maybe even a website or anywhere that you have a list that you can scroll on it you can just go ahead tap right there on the sidebar and of course quickly move around now the next gesture will show you guys how to move apps between home pages on your iphone now of course we all think we know the right way to do it you just go ahead and drag an app place it right here at the corner you can go ahead and move it around on the home screen but actually the right the correct way to do this is just grab the app like this and then swipe like this with the other finger to move around on the home screen of your device move between pages and then of course you can go ahead and place the app wherever you want now this is really really cool actually and probably most people don't know about this it's pretty simple but i think it's really cool knowing that this is the right way to move apps between pages on your home screen and now we're moving to widgets so you probably know that on the home screen of your ios 14 or 15 device you can swipe right here on the dots to move between home pages if you have a lot of them well you can do that with widgets as well so a few apps actually have quite a lot of widgets different sizes and of course different information displayed so you will have to swipe quite a lot to move between them but you can actually quickly do that simply by swiping on the dots right here on the widgets panel just like you do it with the home screens you can do that with widgets as well and here's another great great feature so here i want to add this to the home screen of my device i can tab add widget and you can see just place that at the top right there it will do that automatically and probably will mess up your icons so you don't have the widget where you think you want to place it but how you place it the right way all the time and of course wherever you want in which position and in which page let me show you guys that gesture so the right way to do it is tap and hold on the widget and now just drag it and you can see it will display it on the home screen now i can move it right here i can move it on the other page or the other page like this and i can basically place this anywhere i want it doesn't have to be at the top of the current page where i'm at i can go ahead and quickly move it around and you can see that glitch right there that's actually pretty cool so you can basically move it around and place it anywhere you want you don't have to place it automatically at the top of the current page so that's it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video and learned something new today let me know in the comments below did you know all these features that you have on your iphone so that's about it thank you guys for watching leave a like if you enjoyed the video and don't forget to subscribe for more and i'll see you on the next one